Welcome to the 27th tutorial on beginning CSS. We're going to look at the span HTML element in this video. And like the div element, it goes hand in hand with CSS, so that's why we're going to deal with this element in the CSS series. Now, a span is similar to the div, but on a much smaller scale. A span element is inline and selects a small chunk of HTML, so maybe some text or something inside a paragraph. And so again, it's inside an element as opposed to the div, which selects several elements. So if we open up our HTML code, uh, we can see uh, that first div that we created in the last video, this div main. We've got several elements here. We've got a header element. We've got a paragraph element. Now, a span might select some text inside a individual element. So again, a div compromises several elements. A span works inside a individual element. That's why it's called a inline element. So again, you may want to select uh, some text here. Now, one of the popular ways to use the span HTML element is to highlight some text that you want to stand out on your web page. So uh, let's go to our individual paragraph that we created, of course, with this ID. And what do we want to highlight in here? Let's highlight this. Uh, area right here that says hagfish, lampreys, and bony fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a span, so we'll embed this, and I just cut and paste this right here. Uh, I had already typed it out. So this is going to be a class. So what does a class mean? That means, again, we'll create a class in our style sheet in a moment. Of course, we're going to call it highlight. So again, here's the HTML element span, and then like every HTML element we need to close it and where do we want to close this we'll close this after a bony fish so let's do that and let's go ahead and save this and uh, let's go ahead and open up our style sheet now we'll go all the way down here and let's create a class and again, I already had this typed out, so I'll just copy and paste the class in here. Now, we're just going to make this a generic class. So remember, the period identifies it as a class. And then everything that is tagged with highlight will get highlighted <laughs> with the highlight class. And then, so we're going to use a background color, and this is yellow. So it will be highlighted in yellow. So let's go ahead and save this now. Let's open up our web page. And there you can see we've got a highlight now. So we selected this HTML text with our span HTML element. Now we can do some other things too. We can uh, we can actually make some uh, this 32,000 here for instance we can make that red. So let's go ahead and do that. And so let's go back into our HTML and let's find that 32,000. And I'll go ahead and copy and paste what I already typed out. Now we're going to use a style. Remember style is for inline. And so again, this is a different way we can specify our CSS. So in this one, we created a class. We put it in our style sheet. In this one, we're just going to embed the CSS right into our HTML. So we'll use the style attribute. And again, we've used that before. Um, we're going to make this red. We want this to stand out. And then, of course, we need to close out the span, of course. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's open up our web page. And there you see we have the text now in red. So again, one way to think of the span and div elements, think of them like containers. With the div, we are putting all these elements in a container. With the span, we are putting stuff in a container just inside an individual element. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.